Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. Today we're going to be looking at Power Automate Desktop Actions and we're going to be looking at how to remove an item from a list. So, you want to use the Remove Item From List action. Well, this action allows you to remove items by value or index and we're going to be going through both. But before we do so, we have to just look at two other actions that we're going to be using during this demo. We're going to be using create list, which essentially creates a placeholder variable for a list. This allows you to add items after its creation. And we're going to be using the add items to list action. And this is going to allow us to add items to a previously created list. I don't go into too much detail about these two just because we're using them for the purpose of a demo to actually get a list to remove an item from. But I do have a video on my YouTube channel that goes much more in depth into this. So if you're looking to actually create a list or add items to a list, check that video out. So you've just added remove item from list to your flow. What does it look like? Well, it looks like this. You have three items initially because it defaults to index. Now, the first thing you're going to do then is select the type. Are you going to use value or index to decide how you're going to remove something from your list. So let's start with index as it's already pre-selected. Then what we're going to do is we're going to actually pass through the index value. Now this will be the value, the number value of the index. Now, if you don't know what that means, essentially when you create a list, each item gets numbered. And on Power Automate Desktop, it is an array. So you start at base zero, you go zero, one, two, three, four. So your first item is actually zero. So let's say you are creating a list and your first item always comes through as an empty string and you just want to remove that one item. Then you would simply put zero in here and then you would select your list. Now remember on the right hand side where that red square is, you can easily just press that and it will list all of your lists and you can select it rather than having to type it in manually. Okay, so that's how you use index. What about value? So if we switch over to value then, we get a couple of different options. We have the set value to remove, similar to setting our index. So we're going to set, for example, we would put FlowJo in here if we wanted to remove FlowJo from a list. But then you have the option of removing all item occurrences. So let's say flow Joe occurred three times and we wanted to remove them all. We would just tick this on and we would then remove all items from the list. And again, lastly, you would then select your list. And again, with the red mark, you'll be able to press that button there to get a list of your lists and you would select that. So let's jump into Power Automate Desktop and see this in action. Okay, so I'm on Power Automate Desktop and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list. So I'm going to just name this example list. So we have our example list created, but then I'm going to have to add items to my list. So I'm just going to drag the add item to list. And the first option is add an item. So I'm going to add Flojo and then I'm going to choose the function section here and it will allow me to see all my variables and I'm just going to select example list. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to copy and paste this a couple of times. I'm going to change the second Flojo to Jax and the third Flojo to Meg. What I'm going to do is for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to have Flojo added again. So we're going to have Flojo, Jax, Meg, Flojo. Let's just run this through and see what we get back. Okay, so on the right hand side, you can see we've got Flojo, Jax, Meg and Flojo. And as you can see on the left hand side, here's the numbering that we was talking about for the index. And you can see that Flojo, the first initial one is zero. So let's go into the remove item from list action and we'll firstly 
um, remove uh, item by index because that's what we're going to start with and we're going to do zero because we want to remove the first one now remember it's base of zero it's an array so zero is the first item then we're going to select our list and press save so now when I run it I'm going to stop just here so we get our list generated and then we'll run this step and see what happens So we've got our example list, 0 is Flojo, 1 is Jax, 2 is Meg and 3 is Flojo. Now we're only removing index of 0, so we should only remove the first Flojo from the list. So if I hit run and then reopen this, you can see now the first item is Jax, then we have Meg and then Flojo. So what's happened is we've removed the first item, we've used 0 to target the first item the index of zero to remove Flojo from the list. So that's how you can use indexes to remove specific items from a list in Power Automate Desktop. Now, if you want to use something a bit different such as values, let's remove that and add remove item to list again. This time we'll select value. Now we're gonna put Flojo in. We're gonna remove all occurrences and this time we'll select our list again. So what should happen now, and I'll stop here again, is we'll create our list. We should have Flojo, Jax, Meg, Flojo again. Then we'll go through that list and remove all of the Flojos. So let's just hit run. We now have a list of Flojo, Jax, Meg, and Flojo. We don't care about the index at this point because we're using the value. We're using the items column this time to check and match what we're, we're looking for. We're looking for Flojo, so if I hit run, you can see now that we just have two items left, which is Jax and Meg, so we've removed all occurrences of Flojo from a list. And that is how you remove items, be it from a value or an index from a list on Power Automate Desktop. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.